Dear friends, welcome to AS American English Center. Here we are going in for a stage presentation skills training and we here we have Jyoti and she is a student of uh, Amrita Institution and she is doing a BTEC third year. She is an aspiring student to do her UPSC examination. Wish you all the best uh, Jyoti and she is going to speak about a topic the topic is what's the topic is, consumer king or not? is the consumer king or not yes the topic given to me is is a consumer king or not i would like to support the statement i would like to take two sides of it that is first i would like to speak on saying that the consumer is a king. Any shop or any company will run only if its uh, customers come and buy the product. So in that case definitely the customer is a king. You know you have a, uh, you have so many uh, companies you know uh, they actually design their products according to the uh, according to the needs of the customers you know they say um, they actually uh, you suppose you have a product in flip uh, in flip cut you know they say you can choose the color you can choose the design whatever you want and uh, and we'll send you to uh, we'll send you that so in that case the customer is definitely a king and you know you have uh, you have consumer codes in India you know, if suppose you feel that the rights of the consumers are violated, you can go and file a case there. So definitely, even in that case, the customer is a king. And you have also you have also the Copra Act. And if you know if you feel that uh, any of the products you buy are defective, you can uh, always go and file a case. So even in that case, the consumer is a king. And you know you have all those EMI things that is. Uh, the government banks and you know even all the private banks they actually provide loans for the people to buy the products so even in that case the consumer is a king you know whatever product you wish to buy you can buy and later you can pay for it that is actually known as CMI so in those cases definitely the cus consumer is a king and you know uh, and you know these uh, companies you know uh, many of the shops if you see they offer discounts and you know many of them they actually promote so many uh, they promote so many gifts they actually uh, give so many gifts you know if you buy some product uh, for this much price or something if you if your total purchase exceeds this much amount you'll get so many offers you know so many things like that you have all those coupons all those things right all those things um, are done so that these com com companies attract more customers. So in those cases definitely the consumer is a king. Now I would like to take the other case that is the consumer is not a king. So how is it? If you see uh, online on online things and all online payments all those things um, if you take uh, maybe you see a product on the monitor you buy it but you know at the end you see that the product which you have seen uh, on the monitor that uh, on the monitor is totally different from what you get so in those cases the uh, customers are cheated so in those cases the consumers are not the kings then if you see i had mentioned those consumer quotes and all those copracts and all yeah definitely you can go and file a case but you know it would definitely take some time your case should reach the court and then uh, you know all those cases should go through uh, you have to go through the cases and then finally the judge has to give the verdict and then you know the company has to pay back reimburse yeah, the company has to reimburse so there are a lot of procedures so all these things will definitely take some time so in those cases you know the consumer has to wait a lot of time so a lot of time is wasted so in those cases, a consumer is not a king. And you have all those adverti advertisements. You see, you know, uh, famous, you have seen all uh, Dhoni advertisements, you know. Uh, Dhoni comes and he poses uh, for a bike, you know, uh, all those things he poses. 
and then you know people uh, all those zoni it's mainly to attract all the zoni fans they say okay my you know my fan you know my superstar dhoni has uh, you know lights his bike and he has been posing you know maybe it's uh, this bike which he has been using so i would also go and buy that bike you know it's uh, that kind of uh, you know companies also attract consumers in that way you know maybe uh, the bike is not of that worth but you know still they you know they say so many things in advertisements maybe it it might be also you know uh, false things about that product but even then you know consumers they buy uh, they believe that and then they go and buy that product so in the, those cases the uh, customers are cheated and they are not the kings and you know suppose a new product comes to the market and you know a shop buys it you know uh, if you see generally uh, a product will survive only if lot of consumers or customers are buying that so suppose you know a consumer comes and he buys that okay he will use that and finally you know he'll be you know he'll tell this to many more people and all those things and finally you know if the product is not good definitely no one else is going to buy that but what about the consumer has already brought that definitely that consumer uh, consumer will definitely get affected so i think in even in that cases you know consumers are not the kings and you know one more thing those tax that value added tax i would like to mention about that also along with the normal prices that is the you know each product has its own price so along with that you have also this value added tax with that so the consumers are also have to also pay that so in the, those cases the consumer is not a king and you know i had uh, mentioned um, all about these shops all those things but you have a different side of it also you know all those petrol pumps and all those things you know many gold all those things and all the prices are dis, uh, decided by the government so in those case, you know suppose you want to okay you leave out gold but petrol you know petrol is like very important uh, very important uh, to run vehicles all those things so you know people can't restrain from buying that so uh, you know if the petrol suppose the petrol the price of the petrol goes high definitely it's a consumer who is affected you know the consumer has to pay a lot of price to buy that so in those cases the consumer is not the king the government only fixes the price of the petrol and you know uh, the supplier gets gets a profit but you know the consumer is uh, definitely at a loss he has to pay for that high price so the consumer is not a king in that case so i would like to conclude by saying that in some cases the consumers are a king and in some cases the consumers are not the king it, dep it depends on the context uh, which we see thank you